understand where this stuff comes from, that if you are a multiple offender, God will not forgive you, or that if you're truly saved, you should not ever repent. I, I just, I don't buy it. I don't see it in the scriptures, and I don't know where you're coming off with that. Uh, PBH says, if you tell people to repent, isn't that making yourself look holy like we shouldn't do? Best to let the Bible tell them, right? I, I'll be honest with you, I don't, I don't know what you're saying here. Okay, I mean, I'm having trouble understanding you. Uh, I'm not saying you're adversarial. I'm just saying I don't, I don't understand. I don't follow you here, okay? Uh, John, John, how you doing? Good to hear from you. Uh, thanks for teaching about repentance only. I know some Jezebels, and they don't repent. They just make my life hard and wanting to go to heaven very soon. I know her. Okay? Probably not the same one you know, but I know her. Appreciate that, John. Um, hi, Pastor Mike. This is from Dan Bourne. Hi, Pastor Mike. Yes, amazingly, I was studying something else and saw this word coming from God himself. What I was wondering, studying was this, was fornication between man and man and woman with woman introduced by Satan and his fallen angels, thus creating another form of chaos. Uh, it's an interesting concept, but uh, I, don't, I don't really see that. I, um, I see that as the vile nature of man, the wicked nature of man. Fornication between man and man, in other words, sodomy, introduced by Satan and his angels. Uh, if you find the scriptures that lead you to that, I would really like to see it. Okay, I'm not saying you're wrong. It's just that I, I would like that. It's an interesting thing. I've not really thought of that. And so I want to see what you come up with on that. Um, okay, Frank, I, I did deal with this earlier, and I probably... You know, maybe it, maybe Thursday, maybe at another time, I'll deal with the issue of God repenting. But I, I, I tried to make this clear, and if you'll study all the parts of God repenting in the Old Testament, what he's doing is he's doing so at the behest or the request of a mediator, is what he's doing. A mediator, and what God was doing, God was doing in a shadow, in a picture, he was setting up the office of the mediator and what the mediator does. In the case of Moses or whether it was Solomon or any, any of these other prophets or whoever, it's, but especially in the case of Moses because God was going to kill them all. And Moses said, God, please don't. Hey, hey God, how about, how about blotting me out of your book? Whew, man. And so that you know what that is? That's Christ saying, God, put it on me. And so God was showing, even in the Old Testament, the doctrine of the work of the mediator who takes the sins upon himself so that God will repent of the evil that he thought to do toward them and not send them to hell. And it works. So as far as God doing anything wrong, no, that's not what it means. As far as God lying, saying, well, I'm going to do this, and then he lied and he didn't do it, that's not what that means. So... You know, try to study that on your own, and hopefully it'll hopefully it'll it'll make sense. Karen says, "Hi, PM. May I ask you to request info if there be anyone that knows of a sound King James only church in the very near vicinity of Grand Rapids, Michigan. My son will be attending a college up there, and I cannot find a church anywhere for him. We don't even have one around us. From what I saw, there be there are many." Uh, what I would consider apostate churches available that are waiting to swoop up my son. I fear he may be all alone. Karen, hey, everybody pray for Karen and her son. Now, seriously, pray for Karen and her son. This is a big deal because she's, she's had him under her wing all this time, and now he's fixed to go test all the, all the stuff that his mama told him. His faith his trial, his faith's going to be on trial. And uh, so pray that God would send um, send people to take him and show him the truth. Alicia from downstairs says, I'll be starting a guest list for next year's homecoming. If people would like to come, let us know, and I will start up a head count for next year that we may, may plan ahead. Let us know if you will have children and their ages also. Um, 
Jan says, Viator is your character for no, you can't do that with your hands with claws. Viator, there you go. It makes me think of a Transformer with claws. I appreciate that. Angela says, we were kicked out of Calvary Chapel for believing that Christians still need to repent. You didn't lose much. Um, Pastor Mike, I was listening, hearing you loud and clear. I was raised to believe that we should confess our sins, not repent, because Christ died once, not over and over again. But I hear you loud and clear. I have no problem repenting. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of all, all unrighteousness. So confessing is the same as repentance. Uh, confessing is turning and, con and repentance is that we, we made that distinction clear a while ago where I, I can't remember the verse, but the Bible talked about telling what God what you did and repenting. So I think it goes hand in hand. Um, Dustin says, Proverbs 24, 9, the thought of foolishness is sin. The scorner is an abomination to men. First Thessalonians 5, 17, pray without ce ceasing. This is a routine. Dustin, appreciate that. The rest of y'all, good to be with you today. God bless you. I love you. And uh, we will see you tomorrow for church, your Bible study. Adios.